Let's talk about the match that y'all uh, talked about, the game between MFM and Aimba. That one, we wanted to see goals, but it didn't happen. Uh, only good news, the, the, the league got back on TV. We were able to monitor it. Uh, but we did see that fluid play that we know MFM for. Uh, do you think they, they gave too much respect to Aimba? No. Um, I think MFM have proved. I mean, you have to give it to them. This is their second season in, in the MPFL. And, I mean, they are second on the table. Uh, it's, it's a lot of achievement. Um, you have to give credit to the technical crew of Ayimba, uh, led by Coach Bengo Gubote. Mm. Uh, they, came up, they came up with um, a game plan that frustrated the field play of uh, MFM. And if you watch this game for 90 minutes, it was going to be you know, practically impossible for MFM to penetrate that impregnable defense of Ayimba. You know, Ayimba really played, especially the second half. And I think um, goal, the, the goalless uh, outcome the was a fair reflection of uh, the, the balance of play. Uh, both teams will go back home and, you know, feel satisfied that they, they gave their best. That's right, but then Plateau United uh, will be dancing after this result. Um, it ended goalless. Plateau United uh, went to Cano Pillars uh, to pick a point. So let's see uh, what that has done to the league table. Uh, Plateau United, they will be loving it because right now uh, they're still on top with 59 points. MFM still chasing. They're second on the log with 56 points. Uh, but look at Aqua and Aimba. Aqua 51, Aimba 51. And from this point, uh, Toby, if you look at it, um, all they're waiting for is that slip from Plateau United. And Plateau United right now, they're not looking back. I mean, they're not looking back. Um, when you travel to Canada, you got a point. You know, he's caught first. I mean, brilliant performance from the goalkeeper. Adela Ajibo ahead. It was impressive. Mm -hmm. Denied Rabiu Ali Al Alazan. You know, he will go several times in that game. And they really show quality. They've, they, like I said, er, almost every time they've, they've got quality. For Isadu have picked 13 points away from home. Wow. Picked over 40 points you know, at home. Mm. As really show a lot, of, a, a, a lot of champion stuff in there. But they're just three points um, above MFA because MFA, you know, um, drew goalless against him. And you're looking favorite. And like you said, the next match they will be playing two United. Uh, MFM for his side who haven't lost wow. at home. This is against his side wow. who've got a nine point away from mm. home. It will be interesting, but you know, Plato United on the head. There's a quite United in the mix with one point. Mm. I mean, the last three games have been on the road and they lost two and just you know, uh, draw one against you know, um, Rivers United. Now they go back home uh, for their next game. Aimba International also you know, goes back home and then there's certain FC fine by hanging around in there also. I mean, they played against Nassau United. I saw that. I mean, it was a difficult game for them in the second half. They got a good goal to Sekapaska in the first half. And then at some point, the manager was very scared. He, he had to bring in a new blaze in the last 10 minutes to mm -hmm. ensure they got the maximum three points. So, I mean, if you look at it from the Aqua United, the Imba FC fine, but it's still three since we got a chance to finish among the top three. MFM also looking, you know, very good to finish in the second. Plato United looking very, very favorite, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to win a later because if they get to win against MFM in the next match, they, which I think will not come easy for them, it puts them in that hedge and puts them in that big, big advantage. But I think the tough spot is something that will really cut our attention. With That's Aqua right. United, Imba International, and FC Fine, mm. you know, we won the Federation Cup last season in the mix. It's really going to be get, it's really get interested oh, in, yeah. in the final, you know, show for the top. And team. since Toby just mentioned that match, that's going to be the decider. MFM going to play to United. I mean, what should we expect in that one, particularly with top-notch officiating? Yeah, uh, that's that's why I said the the organizers of the league should be mm. ahead of these uh, clubs, especially now that. Um, a lot of teams are trying to get points to avoid relegation. A lot of teams want to pick a continental ticket. So uh, in just next weekend, uh, Plato United MFM, we expect uh, top-notch officiating. We, we expect uh, you know, fair, a fair level playing um, ground for, for, the, for the two teams. Mm. And it's, you know, Austin, if, you've, if we've followed, we all followed the EPL, every weekend you see the same faces. Yeah. You know, elite referees. Mm -hmm. There's a group. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have proved yourself, you get into, you break into that category. Right. It means that you have integrity, that you have got quality. Then when you're officiating, you realize that um, your integrity is at stake. You know, so you are not going to, you are not going to lower your standard. And I, I think that's what the referees committee and the LMC should do. An elite group of top referees, encourage them, mm. you know, so that even when they continue doing well here, you can also replicate that uh, form outside the shores of this country. You know, so we want, you know, standard officiating when uh, Plato United and MFM play yeah. on, on, on it's Sunday. It's possible we put just, it on TV. Yeah, so, 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 that, so that the best team will mm. win. Then mm. MFM will go there knowing fully well that if they play well, that they can get some points out, out of just Because they're going to travel to just having in mind that they have their destiny in their yep. own hands, you know. So whatever comes out of that one, they will just take it and say, this is what we'll give to ourselves. A lot of questions on social media, what's the score between Rivers United and Katsina United? It ended 1-1, and Toby Katsina United yep. put up a fight.
and got the goal that they wanted. I mean, it, it was a late drama in that one. Kanuti Abdullah, you know, put the first United ahead in that one, and late in the first half. I mean, and they were almost, you know, earning the maximum three hmm. points, and Isule Martins got that late wow. one. I mean, I heard it, it wow. happened in the 94th minute. That, that should be, I mean, a big heartbreaker for the home fans, for hmm. the coach, and also for the players of River Center. Not really good for them. I mean, they've just won. I just one uh, game in the last five games, mm, really showing, mm. you know, form of a team that I really know, want to struggle uh, for relegation. Not, not really good for Stanley Gubbard and not his boys. Not good. Rivers United now uh, 18th on the log. Katsina uh, United um, jumped to 16th on the log. It's a fight from now till the end of the season. You know what? After the action comes the reaction. Uh, let's find out. Uh, let's listen to reactions from the game between Niger Tornadoes and El Kanemi Warriors. When we come back, we'll continue talking about it. Don't go anywhere. Stay. But in the second half, we are marvelous to watch, and we lost many scoring chances. Uh, you know, our target is to surpass our last season uh, in the lock. You know, we, we came 10, and this year we want to do well, and even King of Continental Ticket, that would be okay for us. It's a very interesting match. You can see the both sides have gave a very uh, good fight. Uh, moreover, we are happy we, we carried the day. The most important thing is getting the three point, and we're happy by the end of the day we got the three point. Our expectation is to work and achieve our goal from the beginning of the season. Our aim is to finish with the, in, among the first top ten, and we're working very hard to see how we reach that end. Onsuro deals with that one. by gaining more and more confidence and coming into the game and beginning to attack from uh, both wings. Kester is possessed of the ball. Adeguiga has the ball. Onua is going in for that ball. Was cut short. Move on away again. Regains possession for MFM. Olatubosu. Zikiye can cross with his left. His left foot a good cross and tells his properly. That was Olatubosu's clearance from that. Some updates from result better than just at halftime. It's Wikitor is still one, Rangers one, Rivers United zero, Katina United zero, ABS is one zero ahead of Remo, while it's zero zero here. Kano Pilas is still zero one down to visit Plateau United, while Gombe are holding three SC to nil all draw. Lobby Stars and Abia Warriors are playing one one. If I you buy is however one zero up against National United. Kelly Kess start committing an infringement against Monsuru. Free kick taken already. By MFM, this is Onua locating Okorum Stanley. MFM making an incursion into the board. They are in there. Left foot and short, a wasted opportunity. It takes out his frustration. Sikiro Latumbosu 